episode of California Living, I'm going to show you our Encino Mom's Picks to Pack for a week getaway. I want to start by talking about what bag you're going to use to pack your picks in. I've pulled out this canvas bag, it's cotton lined, it's great cam canvas lined. Um, it's a great bag, however, it's not good for this purpose. Even though all of our items might fit in this bag, it's open at the top and that's a great way to lose a camera. I know that from experience. So I'm going to show you the bag that we picked for this and that is this darling little bag from Forever 21. It's lined and it has an interior um, zippered pocket. It zips on the top. It has a strap so you can put it over your shoulder and it's got these gussets so you can unsnap here. It makes the bag a little larger. It even has some little spots in here where you could maybe put your phone and your sunglasses. Before I show you our 10 picks, let's talk for a second about shoes because shoes are going to dictate what you're going to be able to take with you. So here I have an assortment of shoes. We've got cowboy boots, clogs, flip-flops, tennis shoes, heels, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to consider our activities for the week-long trip and what we need. Okay, so uh, clearly you can't have all of these shoes, but you want to have variety. So you need something closed toed, you need something active, you need something dressy, and you need something um, completely relaxed. So I'm going to pick flip flops, uh, which will go in the bag, and I'm going to choose these heels so that I have some uh, shoes to wear to someplace nice. And the shoes that I'm going to choose for everything else are is going to be these wedges. So these are going to be the shoes that I'm going to travel in. So I'm going to go put these on and then we'll pack these. Obviously we want to put the shoes in first because they're our biggest items. So we're going to mate them and put them in our bag. You've got to bring a pair of flip-flops or sandals because you're going to probably let them double duty as slippers um, going back and forth to the pool, that kind of thing. This is one of my little secret tips. Um, I always pack an additional bag. This one actually unzips and turns into a backpack. Fabulous. Um, and I do that so that I can go shopping when I travel. Toiletries, that looks like a small toiletry bag, I know. Because part of the joy of traveling is experiencing the sights and the sounds and the smells and flavors of the place that you go to. And so I'm a big advocate of purchasing your toiletry items at your destination. Sure, bring your cosmetics, but your toiletry items, your shampoo, things like that, pick up something from the destination and it will extend your vacation when you get home. So the very first thing is you have to bring your jeans, right? you're going to wear as many of the clothing items and especially the bulky items, you're going to wear those as you travel. So I already have my jeans on and then I've paired it with this um, white tank top. It's a medium fit. It's not too clingy and it's not too loose because that's going to work the best with the wardrobe that I have planned. The next thing that you need to add is a cardigan. I've chosen this cardigan from Fresh Produce. And this is a great piece. It's got some lovely detailing. And this is what you want to look for is um, pieces that will do more than one job. This particular cardigan can really dress up beautifully. It's got this lovely pick stitching in the back, across the back, that gives it a lovely detail, nice shaping. And it's also got pockets, which I recommend whenever you travel. Um, Actually, I just recommend pockets in general, but it, especially when you travel. And you know you're going to need a cardigan even if you're going to the hottest place on earth because there will be air conditioning and you will be cold. So I will travel with my cardigan on. The next thing you need is a dress. I've chosen again from Fresh Produce. This is a little black dress. It's just darling. It's 100% cotton. and Again, it's got some great detailing. It's got um, seams down the front for a little shaping and it's got inseam pockets. 
Again, I love anything with pockets, especially when we're traveling. It's classic, it's great because you can dress it up, you can throw on some pearls, you can put on those great heels that I've selected. It plays so nicely with others. And that's exactly the kind of versatility that you're looking for. It, I can throw this cardigan over it and it's gonna look fabulous and kind of dressy. Or I can put on my flip-flops and walk on the beach and it's gonna be perfect. So I am going to fold the sleeves in and roll the dress from the small end to the large end. This will give me the least amount of wrinkles to deal with when I get to my destination and will fit nicely in my bag as well. And that goes in the bottom. The next item is a black faux wrap top. Now this little top is fitted. Uh, it's got a little bit of stretch to it and it's very flattering and works as a great layering piece. It looks great underneath this jacket. It works with the pants that I'm about to show you and also of course with the jeans. It's fitted as opposed to the uh, tank that I have on so that I have those two different uh, profiles when I'm wearing these clothes. This is a little piece from Weekenders and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to roll it from the small end. That's the little wrap top. Okay. So these are the items I'm not going to need right away when I get to my destination, so those go in the bag first. The next piece, this is also from Fresh Produce, again, we love working with them on this um, selection of pieces. These are a sort of a swing pant, they're cropped, they're surged down the side, super, super flattering, super, super comfortable, they go with everything that will work with this white tank, it'll work with the... Um, wrapped shell and same thing I'm going to fold those in half and roll from the small end. This. Put those in. So that's one, two, three in the bag and three on me so that's six. My next item is a pair of tailored pants. Now these are, again, from Fresh Produce, and these are really great. They've got this great, great crepe feel to them. A very soft, forgiving waistband, so that they hang nicely. And this is an ankle pant with a slim leg. I like this because it's great for, of course, blending with these other items, but also um, it's a little bit elegant, even though it's really relaxed. So I really like how that they've come bind both of those um, elements in this one pant. Again, super comfortable and folding in half and rolling from the small end. From the little end to the larger end. This next item is a white linen shirt. And this again is in that category of um, cardigan. It has cloth covered buttons down the front. It's got little pockets. It's got detailing in the back. It's got a collar, optional cuffs that you can make a three quarter length sleeve out of the sleeve with these little tabs. And that makes it where you can really start to cross over with the black and the white and um, really maximize the outfits that you can get out of these few items. Of course, it looks great over the white tank. It works great over all the black. So that is a must have. Do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna fold the sleeves into the body of the shirt. And then I'm going to gently roll this. This is linen, so this will have some wrinkles when I get to my destination. So you can pack your swimsuit or uh, like I did with this swimsuit, I purchased this at the destination. Sometimes that happens and sometimes that's a great um, way to add some local color literally <laughs> to your wardrobe. So I'm gonna pack my swimsuit and I like that near the top because I plan to swim before I go to bed tonight. And then my last item is a nightgown. And just for the heck of it, I picked a black and white nightgown. This is just a little uh, throw on thing. You might, instead of, if you don't need a nightgown, uh, you might decide to pack a fabulous t-shirt, maybe something like this. You could sleep in it. 
You can exercise in it. I don't know. So much room left in my bag, I can actually add an extra item. If you wanted to put in one piece of color, this is a great pick. Also from Fresh Produce, it's got this uh, handkerchief style uneven hemline and it's got a little pocket here and it's super, super flattering and of course it looks great with all these clothes. So I'm going to throw that in there. But those are our 10 picks to pack. A black and white wardrobe is great and all of these pieces, even though they have these great little details, work really well together. That's fantastic. But after a couple of days, I'm going to be tired of just black and white and I'm going to want some flair in my wardrobe. And so that's where um, you add your accessories. And that makes a black and white wardrobe turn to full color, okay? So these are some things you might choose. I would put in my pearls. With a beach destination, I would absolutely throw in a little um, silver necklace like this one. It's got a sand dollar on it and a starfish and a pearl. Something fun and festive. I mean, it immediately changes the way you look when you add your accessories. So these are green stones, beautiful. That's from Sopata. Something really bold like this piece be totally fun. Your jewelry and accessories totally amplify and extend your wardrobe. Of course you have to have scarves so I would toss in some color and you'll notice like this would work well together so I would put both of those in my bag. Here's another fun scarf that extends the wardrobe in another direction with blues and greens and some kind of red tone. I consider this to be an essential also. This is a nice big shawl this one happens to be black and white, it's all cotton, and it has a little detail of blue in here. And so, of course, that's going to be great with any of the items. And I would actually wear this on the plane, if I were going on the plane, um, because, again, it gets cold, it gets warm, it gets cold, it gets warm. And I like to have versatility. So that is, that's it. This is enough for a week away. And um, you can see I've still got some room in my bag so I can uh, maybe buy something fabulous when I get there. That's it for me today. I'm Lisa Keating. Thanks for watching. Those are our picks to pack for your week away. See you next time. Bye. So I've chosen this little black and white nightgown to keep with my motif, not that I would wear it as an item of clothing, although you never know. No, no, no. Please don't. Please don't put that. That's it for me today. I'm Lisa Keating with Encino Mom TV, and those are our picks to pack for your week. Eh. Sorry. Thanks for watching. I'm, that's it.